What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube draft. Unfortunately, no power was present today. That's sad. But take what you can get, right? We got this Neshoba Brawler. I was very tempted to try out the Warrior Archetype, the Domain Warrior Archetype, because why not? <laughs> you know? So I think I am going to take this Neshoba Brawler. This pack is pretty medium. It's not great. As our good friend Pete Campbell would say. Not great, Bob. Inti is good. Neshova Brawler puts us squarely into domain. I want to give that guy a shot. I like a Savannah. Mox Diamond's good. Box Diamond's good, but Savannah actually gives us the... Actually, this pack's really good. Jeez. Atraxa, Palace Jailer, Mox Diamond. Stomping Ground and Savannah are both going to be nice if, if either one of these comes back. I don't think we're taking Atraxa. I can see an argument for Palace Jailer, but I think I just want Mox Diamond. Like, being able to go turn one Neshoba Brawler attack for, like, four on turn two seems really good. Oh, Bloodstained Mire. That gets a... Uh, this is actually the reason you want to play Warriors, right? Yeah, we're just taking the Najila. Uh, it's pronounced Nahila with a J. It's pronounced like an H. Anyway, we're taking it. We're taking it. It's happening. We are living... Glimmer Lens is in my queue. I actually like this card a lot. So it's a 2-2. Two -two. It's automatically a 2-2. Two -two. Um, and then whenever the equipped creature and at least one other creature attack, draw a card. So you basically attack with two creatures, you get a card. It's pretty good. Um, Swords to Plowshares, also very, very good. I think the card advantage from this is pretty nice. It's either one of these white cards for sure. I don't know which one, though. I think it's swords. I think being able to get rid of problematic creature for one mana is just... It's going to be too good. Um, hmm. Well. Trumpet Adversary is good, but it's not a warrior. I might just want the Zagoth Triome. It's a green source that lets us cast Neshoa Brawler. I don't think it's Elvish Mystic. Could be Gideon. They make knight allies. So it's not super relevant. Mutavolt is a warrior. <sighs> yeah, it gets for the emblem and just making extra creatures is not terrible. That was my thought. Yeah, I think that's fine. You're a knight. Shadow Spear. If we get... A stone forge could be good. Escape just could be good as a solid card drawing engine. Yeah, it might just be escape here. Uh, this is not a stip. This is us drafting. And I think we're just taking escape. Sure. Oh, Temple Garden's great. No super relevant warriors except for Earthshaker Kinder, but I'd much rather have a land that lets us cast four of our five spells right now. So... Shock lands and triomes are going to be, and dual lands are obviously going to be pretty important. Hmm. Well, that is a pack full of things I like, but not things that do anything. Could be Selfless Spirit. Could be Arc Trail. I think we'll take the Spirit here. Again, not a Warrior. I'm hoping the Warriors pan out here. It's 
It's going to be real sad if they don't. I got excited thinking this was Overgrown Cemetery. It is not. Renegade Rallier, though, that's a guy. That is a warrior, and it helps us get back other warriors. Yeah, that's fine. Um, hello. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she, I'm pretty, babe, I'm pretty sure you have that as a macro on your keyboard. The um, hello button. Good times. I would have it as an emote if you'd let me. <laughs> so, so I will let you. It's not a matter of like, he doesn't let me. Uh, Savannah and Stomping Ground both came back. Wow, that's pretty good. I think it's Savannah because it's a dual land. I would like to have Stomping Ground a little bit more though, but we only have one red card. I think Savannah's probably fine. I also think we can probably find a Plateau or a Taiga. Dryad is fine. Guardian Scale Lord is actually bananas. This is one of my favorite white cards that have been added recently. It's not a Dragon Warrior, unfortunately, but it's very, very good. It's probably going to get back the majority of the cards in our deck. This is interesting. These four are not terrible, but they're all not for us. I kind of just want Knight of the Reliquary, actually, because it's it's likely that we'll have fetch lands, and it's also likely that we want to be able to sack, like, a forest or a plains to go get a land that gives us more. Oh, Triome came back. That's exciting. Can someone mute uh, Stormworks for me? Thanks, I'd appreciate it. Uh, take this hero blade hold, sure. Hey, hey, that's not nice. Maybe. Maybe not, you know. Oh, Earthshaker Kenra came back. A two-drop warrior. It's pretty good. This is interesting because I think all of the all 15 of these cards are playable for us. So that's fascinating. Like the Zagoth Triome came back that we wanted, the Urshigar Kenra came back. Knight of the Reliquary super late is playable, so is Hero Blade Hold, like Minsk and Boo. Okie dokie. Is it a hamster warrior? Darn. Oh well. I'll have to sacrifice and not mind. Yep, definitely taking Minsk and Boo here. <sighs> Fractured Identity would be good. Gruff's Triplets would be interesting. This is 100% on the table, right? And we can just take Gruff's Triplets on the wheel. Because that would be cool. This pack came very quickly. <laughs> Tribal Flames is nice. I think Scalding Tarn is a little more important for us, though. Plus... Honestly, Tribal Flames also might come back. Also, Lelia is very good. I think we'd have to go with Scalding Tarn. If Lelia or Tribal Flames comes back, I will be thrilled. Or Council's Judgment, even. That would be fine as well. You're a soldier. What are you doing here? There are no warriors in this pack. This is a scout. This is a druid. It might just be Noble Hierarch, though. I also do like this card a lot. Uh, could just be Copperline Gorge, but it's like, the fact that this doesn't actually count for any of the domain effects is really off-putting. I'm just going to take Noble Hierarch. I think it's probably going to... Oh, there's the Taiga that we wanted. 
And we're actually not passing anything super good. I would love for Fiery Confluence to come back, but yeah, we're definitely taking Taiga here. Especially because we can get it with Scalding Tarn, which makes Scalding Tarn a green land now. This guy being a warrior is fantastic. I'm definitely taking Sentinel of the Nameless City here. 3-4 Vigilance. That makes maps when you enter the battlefield to attack. Elvish what? Elvish Reclaimer? Elvish... That doesn't seem correct. I would be surprised if that was true. But actually, he grows. Yeah, that might be. It is a warrior. Wow. I think you mean Reclaimer, not Visionary. But uh, we're definitely taking Pest Infestation here. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that's this is not even close. I'm going to move these to the sideboard. We can get Zagoth Triumph with Scalding Tarn as well, which is nice. We're taking a while here. Uh, why are warriors important? Because it's one of the archetypes uh, that they're trying to foster in the cube. And so cards like this, whenever a warrior attacks, you may have its controller create a 1-1. One, one. Uh, there's also other synergies as well. We don't have many of them, but it's nice to build towards them. Uh, Endural is actually pretty nice. Could also just take Breeding Pool. Makes our blue splash a little bit better if we need it. Plus it's a land with an island attached. Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to take the Breeding Pool. Uh, I never, no, I've never worked at WotC. I did coverage for WotC for a couple of years. Stoneforge Mystic, eh? Huh. Well, I'm definitely taking that. This is a knight. Uh, oh, actually, Roaming Throne might be the, as it enters battlefield, choose a creature type, so you choose warriors. It's the chosen, it's a warrior. If the triggered ability of another creature you control of the chosen type is triggered, it triggers an addition. The problem is there's not a ton of trigger. I guess Sentinel and Renegade Rallyer. I think the upside of, of Stoneforge is just better. Yeah, all right. I took it because I want to try it out, so... I switched to the last possible second. Yeah, Nahila was the obvious choice. I just didn't mention it because I felt like that was the the, the given uh, in my brain. So, like, these two were the, the outliers. Uh, Sarah Paragon came. Oh, there's the Gruff Triplets. That's pretty sweet. Great. Great.
Well, we have a whole other pack left, and this is looking like a solid 18 cards so far, plus six good lands. I feel like this is all of our cards. I feel like every card is playable at this particular point. Uh, Tribal Flames came back. <laughs> Send it through the breach. We're definitely taking the flames here. That's pretty sick. This is like what happened yesterday with the lands deck where like every card came back for us. So that's pretty cool. Uh, last time I checked, Golos is not a warrior. <laughs> Some people. <laughs> uh. Copperline Gorge? We could probably still play a Copperline Gorge, right? Or we can take this Genesis engine. Golos, I guess that's true. Golos is domain. Fair point. Fair point, Rock's Art. Fair point. Uh, oh, Prismatic Ending is actually pretty decent when we have all the colors, right? Like, that's just... How do you see what your opponent is at? What do you mean, like, life total? The what? What did I not take? What are you saying to me right now? Oh, the bot post that, yeah. Um, it'll say like Frank Lepore O one 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 O is playing against Jimmy Neutron two O or something, you know. There's no I don't I don't know how to see it in MTGO. I don't know how to check that kind of thing. I don't know where that would show up. Elvish Reclaimer, but also Sky Sovereign. I'd rather have Sky Sovereign here, I think. Okay, so literally I would play every card here. I mean, I have no... There's nothing I'm looking at that's like, oh, that's not really playable. I would love more two drops, though. I'd love Tribal Kavu. That guy, that guy seems good. Eh, Containment Priest is a sweet little, little sideboard option. Two drop mimic guy. Oh wow, even Outland Liberator is a fantastic 15th pick, dude. That's just a main, that's just a card we're gonna play in the main deck. I feel like you're referring to Met Metallic Mimic, but I don't think that dude's in the cube. Territorial Kavu, did, what, did I call him something else? Did I not call him Territorial Kavu? I feel like I didn't call him that. What did I say? Maybe I called him that, though. Tribal Kavu. That's basically the same thing, right? <laughs> Come on, man. That's a Tribal Kavu. Elvish did wheel. I just took, um, I took Sky Sovereign over it. Jetmir's Garden. Oh man, Jetmir's Garden is coming back. We're just taking Othari, I think. <sighs> Othari is just a banger. Unfortunately, no power in this pack. Sky Sovereign is not a warrior. That's correct. Unfortunately. I'm going to put this in the sideboard and I'm just going to take this Othari. If Jetmere's Garden comes back, that'll be Chef's Kiss as well. 
I mean, there's like blue white decks where I splash red to play Athari. Like that card is just very good. So in a deck where I can naturally cast it. It is. It's a bolt on a ship. Oh, what did Foothills? <laughs> the absolute perfect fetch land for us. Fascinating. Also, as far as headquarters, if that comes back. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely taking wooded foothills here. That was pretty nice. Sorry, warriors. <laughs> uh... I'm fucking dying at the best pizza in New York City, Robert. <laughs> yep. Now, now to get a New York slice at my favorite restaurant. Sparrows. <laughs> oh, God. Michael Scott, you beautiful bastard. Oh, God. Yeah, I was like, best pizza in New York City. What did I just say? Spara's headquarters. Okay, that's what it was. Uh, druid, snake, snake. This is, this is a pack with two snakes in it. Inside of you, there are two snakes. One of them is a hex drinker. The other is a lotus cobra. I don't think prismatic omen is where we want to be, unfortunately. It's kind of a cool gimmick because it gives us domain, but we don't have enough domain things, I don't think. I think I just want Hex Drinker. I think this card is just bananas by itself. This is 23 cards now, so we have no more room. That's it. So if I had to make cuts right now, I'd probably cut Knight. Everything else is really good. All right, see you later. I'm only three thank packs, you. three three picks into this pack. M. Carbon, thank you for the sub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you, my dude. <laughs> Can we start the game already? What's the hold up here? Oh, Rogren Triome is nice. Tireless Tracker is pretty good. Is this other creatures? Oh, other creatures. So she's always going to survive. You're right. He's not a warrior. I might just want the Triome. It's a nice Triome that we can get with... That, that adds white and red. But I think our man is good, and I think Tireless Tracker actually is better. <laughs> you know, I mean, I bet, I bet we'll get that. I bet we'll get a Triome back, like a jet, like it, we could get the Jetmere's Garden back or the Spars Headquarters, both of which are options. Or an Indotha Triome, for example. Here's a Scape Shift. I mean, I'm just taking Solitude here because that card is bananas. I think this gives us a Swamp. On, on top of a, this is nice because you get like a, you get like a Savannah, but you also just get the free black source. Like for Neshoba Brawler and, and Tribal Flames. Not many things. Oh, we also want to, we also want to ultimate this guy as well. That's clearly a lady. That's correct. I apologize. Still, I think we're just taking Solitude. <laughs> because it's Solitude. This is 24 now. It's looking worse. I 
Cut Gideon. Cut Escape. Raging Ravine. Interesting. All right, so this is search a library for a basic land, put on the battlefield, create a 1 1 sapperling, and then a creature gets plus X, where X is the number of basic land types you control. X and trample. So, in theory, you 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 want it to give you five. Is this a dinosaur warrior? No? Okay. <laughs> Being a god counts as a warrior. Is that right? I'm gonna take the Raging Ravine. I think uh, I could use another another land, and I don't think we need more playables. I mean, cutting Knight of the Reliquary, Gideon, Sky Sovereign, and Escape, those are all playable cards. I'm just I'm I'm giving us one one card buffer in case we see something utterly awesome that we just want to put in. Oh, Proving Ground. That's phenomenal. Nice red green land that also adds the black that we want. Okay. Man, no tribal kavu as it's, as it, as it's called. That's unfortunate. Cast him as a man. <laughs> yes. Whenever I have to cast Valky as a man, though, I feel very sad. How are you not number one and gifted? Oh, probably because of December, I guess. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Also, it's the 21st. I feel like you've gifted more than 11. That feels incorrect. Thank you. Okay. Well, now it is incorrect. Ooh, wild my cattle. That's exciting. That's just a 3-3 three, three for one. MTG Pyro. Thank you. <sighs> You're a ridiculous, ridiculous human being. I appreciate you very much, my dude. I was hoping for the Kavu, but I'll take the cat. MTG Pyro now in the, the gifted sub lead with 16. I meant the Raging Ravine. King Eater, please, you can't cast lands. Thank you. Kids these days. Oh, the Jetmere's Garden came back. Look, we're just getting everything. We just want a thing to table, and then they just let it table. Um, I mean, this is a tri-land that's all three of our colors. We already have two tri-lands. Do we need a third tri-land? Probably. Could also just take Horizon Canopy. No, I want the tri-land. This is 23. <laughs> Elspeth makes warriors. Soldiers. If only soldiers were warriors. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, look. The Spara's headquarters came back as well. Because, of course, it did. I think Spara's headquarters is probably better than Zagoth Triumph for us. So, I guess we'll take that. I do like this guy a lot, though. I just don't think we're getting enough value out of him. Like, I think these are better five drops for our deck. So this is, Spara's headquarters is our colors plus blue. Uh, Proving Ground is our colors plus black. Prismatic Omen came back along with Lotus Cobra. Usher, also a, a warrior. Interesting. And it makes other warriors? Sure, I'll just take Usher. Maybe we just lower our curve a little bit. Actually, we only need one cut here. Maybe we just... Oh, Rogren Triumph came back. <laughs> okay. You got it. Maybe you want Bitter Triumph? Eh. How many ways do I have to cast it? Zagoth, Zeotora's... We're not going to play the Rogger and Triumph. I'll just take the Bitter Triumph. Kogla. I'll take a Kogla. A, a delicious, refreshing Coca-Cola, you know? Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Take this guy. Okay, so this is 24. We need one cut. And this guy to round it out. Yeah, I agree with actually. Selfless was one of the ones I was like, mm, you're kind of iffy. Okay, mana time. Let's go. Proving ground, 100%. Triome, I'm iffy on. I don't like having a land that only gives us one color. You, you, you. That's blue. Jet Mirrors is just... Yeah, and then everything else looks good. Sure. And we still get six basics, so that's pretty good. So we'll pile my color. Definitely heavy green and heavy white, and also heavy red. So that's a thing. Okay. <laughs> Papa likes. Okay, so white sources we have. One, two... I'm going to assume both of our fetches can get everything, right? Yes, easy. <laughs> White, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. This is eight. We'll say that's okay. Red, we have th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. So I could see going down to eight here and nine here. We're obviously higher white green we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen that actually feels correct yeah all right let's roll out and live the the domain dream And then we wait. Rank bots roll out. Uh, good times. All righty then. Dude, let me tell you something. OBS adding a pause feature is like one of the best updates they've made in ages. It's been here for like years, like a year and a half, probably two years, maybe. Being able to pause a video you're recording, it, unreal. This hand would be great if it had one green. As such, I have to ship it, unfortunately. Uh, okay, well, you, like, these didn't even move. You gave me the green, so I'm going to take it. We got that taiga, too, so we can just go get a taiga with wooded foothills. That's pretty good. I'll put back prismatic ending. I, no, I'll put it back Earthshaker Kenra. Keep Kenra. Peter Cullen voices Eeyore. Are you, is that, you spelled Eeyore wrong, but that's okay. Right? It's like, uh, yeah, it's E-E-Y-O-R-E. -E -E, two E's. It's, I mean, you basically nailed it. You just left one E out of the front. It's like arrow, you know? Double, double A. Okay, so we're going to go here, and we're going to crack this guy. Let's go get that that Tigerino. Tiger uppercut. Hope you got the, I hope you guys thought that was as funny as it sounded in my head. You think this guy's just in, in, immediately dead? They're like, wait, I'll let him pump it first. They're like, no, wait, I'm not going to let them pump it first. Faithless looting. Sagat jokes gets a solid 7 out of 10. That's all I wanted. Oh, good, uh, Archon of Cruelty. 
Well, see you later. I might actually scoop if they just reanimate that because it's going to be absolutely terrible for us. Pump it up. Play this guy. Just get in there for two. Very slow opening here. Next turn we have one of these two guys. So they're just gonna they're just gonna play necromancy here, which is gonna be absolutely backbreaking for us, unfortunately. They did not play that. Fascinating. Oh gosh. Goodness gracious. We're not gonna pump this guy because it's just gonna be it feels like it might be a bloodbath if we do that. Get in there, you little rascal. Okay. I will play Sentinel. Make a map. Map it up. Sounds good. <laughs> Surprised you didn't play that during your own turn so that you could see what you draw and then play the cards. <laughs> That's really strange to me. Because it's not like you would have you weren't at any risk of having to discard. Like, if you draw a reanimate or an animate dead, why wouldn't you play it on your own turn? That's so weird. What a weird play. Like, I didn't have mana up, so it's not like I could have snuck in a hull breacher or something. Cast him as a map. <laughs> oh, God. Unfortunately, we don't have enough mana to do all the things we want. We can pump this guy up to a 4-4 and exile this guy and then attack for 7. Because getting rid of the Baleful Strix is going to cost 2. <sighs> you ever had a Hex Trigger that you're just attacking with as a 2-1? They're just not doing anything with these extra lands here. Well, I mean, I'd like to play this, but then we attack and they just block one of our guys, so that feels worse. This is going to be rough if they do it. God, of course. Sure. That is what. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. From the catacombs. So, yeah, like, as I was building this deck, I feel like one of the shortcomings is going to be the fact that I'm literally just playing creatures on, like, turn one, turn two, turn three. Like, they're not super exciting. Wait, what are we getting with this guy? I don't want to, I don't want to play this guy off of the non-cracked lands and not have a white source to get. So, I don't think we have a plateau or the other one. So, we're just going to get Breeding Pool untapped. Play Romy boy. And main warrior. And play this tiny little guy.
Yep, that'll do. Just going to take nine, have no creatures on the board while you have Corpse Dance in hand. Yeah, that sounds fun. Well, I guess we can bring Containment Priest in. Take out Earthshaker Kenra. Yep, that hand's not going to do anything. This is my concern. Like, it's just like a bunch of cards that are just kind of meh. Like, they're not, they're good, but they're a little too slow for like, like they're talking about in the cube article about how they're cultivating, you know, the cube is just too fast for four mana plays, right? But like this deck is just a lot of four mana plays. <laughs> And by that, I mean, like, you're just casting a creature, a, a, like a not even, like a 3-2 for 3, right? And you make a couple of 1-1s one off of it, maybe, and that's fine, but, like, if they play Archon of Cruelty, like, no one cares about your 1-1s. One one uh, I definitely want a white source here, so probably... Spar's headquarters also gets us blue, but we have breeding pool. But we also have plenty of red, so I think it is headquarters here. Okay, that guy's that guy's kind of cute, isn't he? Just gonna play this guy and keep up <laughs> Containment Priest. Let me guess, kill it immediately? Sure. Like, I, my, my fear was like, in Tomb, into Reanimate, like. That's nice to have. We didn't see a ton of counter spells, so. You're just gonna kill my Minskin Boo immediately. Or my, my Boo, I should say. You better triumph the Boo instead of the Minsk. That's a fascinating choice. Huh. Show and tell. <laughs> that did not do it. I was like, maybe it'll work. It did not work. Sure. Discard this, swordsing this guy, keeping Minsk alive. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? Oh, I did that during my upkeep. I was like, I don't even care. That's, that's pretty good, actually, if we can draw some cards eventually. I mean, if we didn't, also, if we didn't put this into play, we would have had to sack Minskin Boost. Like, we're, there, there's not a situation where we're not putting it into play, and we're discarding the other one. So, like, they're both going to get destroyed. So, it's not really a... Great. <laughs> that's... That's fantastic. All right, so we're going to attack, and then we're just going to sacrifice this guy and draw four, I guess. No, we're not. Great. All right. 
I mean, they just have all the removal. Fatal Push, Bitter Triumph, Snuff Out. <laughs> Actually, we can just Mox Diamond that. Jesus Christ, dude. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> I guess that's all it takes. You just deal with the one Archon of Triumph, and I guess you're in good shape. Makes me want to bring in Bitter Triumph, to be honest with you. I mean, we only have Proving Ground as a Black Source and Mox Diamond. We could bring in Tri Zagoth Triumph. And it's like, it's funny because it's not even that their plays are that frustrating, right? Like, I'm making a free token with a Planeswalker, they're lightning bolting it. I mean, that's not the best you're going to do. I think it's just frustrating because it doesn't feel like you're gaining any momentum. Like, it just feels like you're treading water. And psychologically, that's kind of frustrating. Yeah, I mean, two fetches, I think. Wooded Foothills, Scalding Tarn. Um... And Mox Diamond. So, like, our black sources are these. It is tempting, though. We also have Solitude. Like, so we have Solitude, Containment Priest, Sword Supply Shares. It's not terrible. I'm tempted to take out the triplets, but I also want to play them, so... Yeah, we'll take Outland Liberator out. That's pretty interesting. Uh, it's a turn to Najila. And we got the black source and a white source. Yeah, this is good. We'll keep this. The problem is they have so much removal. And <laughs> like all of our creatures die to lightning bolt fatal push. Nonsense. So... So I think we're playing Temple Garden into these. Yep, get a little bloody. That'll do. Pitch Forest. She did. Okay. Whenever they pitch a card that's not an Archon, perfect. Here we go. Show and tell. Fable of Mirror That's fine. Guardian Scale Lord. You're pretty good. Really tempted to keep up swords. I don't think we have the luxury to do that. I also just don't want to attack into their goblin shaman because <laughs> that seems terrible.
Merry Gabagool to you. Still nothing in the trash can. That's pretty good. And I'm going to say always yes. I don't see a situation where I'm not going to want the attackers. Oh, they're going to lightning bolt it? That's obnoxious, but probably fine. Go for the eyes, boo. Or they were just blocking to take four. Or to not take four, rather. All right. I feel like we're in reasonable shape here, but here they're gonna they're gonna throw the breach in Archon here. We got a sack two. We can sack a warrior and a boo. Discard our hand. Okay, we're gonna combat, so we're not doing that. Okay, they just they just want the extra sixth mana, which is frightening. That's pretty good. <sighs> so just give me one attack with this guy. They can't Fatal Push. They can't Lightning Bolt. They have two cards. I think we're going to get a hit in. Come on, one time. Let me... Let Papa, let Papa swing. Oh, yes. Yes. So now we just get to keep up swords to plowshares. I actually feel pretty decent here. Father loves to swing. <laughs> Why does it sound so weird when you say it? Yeah, Guardian Scale Lord is fantastic. It's just like a better Sun Titan. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, you enjoy. Show and tell. Oh, we just won the game. All right. Well, I did not expect to win that round. After Archon of Cruelty hits you, it's kind of like a little, little demoralizing, but uh, I'm not going to complain. That is what you get when you let Papa swing. I, I could have sworn I had a reason not to cast Minsk and Boo pre-combat. Um... I think I just didn't want to tap out because if we don't tap out, like they don't know what we have and it might hinder whatever they choose to do. <sighs> We're playing Rondell. Go Rondell. Oh, uh Hand needs a red. I'll keep it because I think Solitude is really good. Yeah, I definitely was keeping up swords. I don't know if that's correct. Rondell McDondell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, there is a renegade rallier in this in this beast. Oh, 
Aspara's headquarters, eh? I mean, that's just a fine land to play here. We could also just keep it to cycle it because we already have all the basics we need off of it. So let's do that. Creative Cloud is like, you got two updates, bro. And I'm like, no, bro, leave me alone. I'll update you when I'm good and ready. Yeah, like if we don't hit anything here, we can just go planes cycle up. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna I guess we're gonna see what the best possible five drop is from our opponent. I have a wild in a cattle. Monastery mentor into ancestral recall. Time walk? Jace. That was not as bad as I was thinking it might Thank be. Thank you. I Wafflebot, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Goddamn man. <laughs> yeah, let that be a lesson to you non-subscribers. I wish I had a red source. Really would love to get rid of this guy with the tribal flames. Wait, they have two lands. Well, it was their turn two, I guess. So that does check out. That is how the math works. My god, my kingdom for a mountain over here. Chart a course, pre-combat, so they are going to toss a little card in the garbage can. Can't flip Jace this turn. Yeah, sometimes the ads are long. Like, I, I think I've set mine to be shorter and fewer, so. No blocks. Discarded an Indotha Triome, sure. Red source. That is not a red source. Okay, that guy's that guy's getting big. Well, actually, we can cast a solitude. Yeah, do your little Jace. Do your little Jace maneuver. Like you tapped all your mana, huh? I'll activate Jace now. Well, that's going to end poorly for us. They can get whatever they want, huh? Yeah, that's pretty fascinating. Wait, what? What does this do? Oh, you have Lotus, I guess. So you go Lotus, Land, Charter Course, Vamp Tutor again? I don't... All right, come on. We can, we can do better than this. I always yield. I don't care about any of these things.
Triple black. Triple black. For a bone shards. Got it. It's a good mentor turn. If I only had a red, we wouldn't have had it. <laughs> Would not have been in this situation. Yep. Draw the card. You have one black. Presuming you can kill my wild in the cattle. Like a fatal push. You put a fatal push on top. So you can trigger monster mentor another time. And No? Okay. Well, I got a block or else I take 16. So that's cool. We're just going to go to the next game. There's, no, there's nothing in our deck that's going to stop that. Yep. All right. Well, I guess I'll hit the old dusty trail. It's my bad for not uh, making sure I had a mountain, I guess. So. And now we're in the same situation. This hand is terrible, though. This one's pretty good. Put you back. I think... I think it's actually Scale Lord here. I mean, this assumes that we'll hit a red source before we hit a fifth mana. This guy's a 2-3. Did hit that red source. Hmm. So we can get a taiga or we can get a land that actually gives us another color. Proving ground gives us two more and we can play brawler here. I kind of like that. I mean, headquarters does the same, but this gives us red, which is what we want. Yeah, we're just going to do that and then play Brawler for four. And then next turn we can play Roaming Throne or, or Najila. Well, we know they have Reprieve. So, I'm just gonna play the land and we'll just play Roamer. Oh, interesting. No counter, huh? Five, yeah. And it goes through. Okay, we're living the dream. Optimal MTG, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Toxic Deluge for four. Ready? <laughs> okay. We're having a good time. Uh, Optimal MTG, appreciate it, buddy. Yep. Remember that time I was like, they're going to Toxic Deluge for four, and that was exactly what they did. Yeah. So we have one card, they have six. Oh, the old Upkeep Vampiric Tutor, eh? A classic. Make sure you get a nice removal spell for yourself. There you go. You did it. 
Eh, it's a two for one, I guess, and we get to keep our clue, so that's not terrible. How about this guy? How about we just pump him up? Save him from half the removal spells that they can possibly have. And they just got rid of bone shards, so that's decent. Let's draw one more land and then just, just go to town with this progenitus. They're also at nine. Three cards, nine life. What could go wrong? Gijin Jura, huh? They went to they went to seven. Come on, land. That's a land. They were like, just don't draw a land, and then you know what I did. Drew a land. They have no cards in hand. Oh, this guy's gonna. This guy's gonna do the deed. All right. Well, put you to one. Come on, Rondell McDondell. Hex Drinker is a hell of a drug. You know, I was kind of pooping on this deck, but then, like, it's doing stuff, man. It is not terrible. Oh, my pre-check notice. My pre-check eligibility notice is now available. They're going to be like, sorry, you're not eligible. Stupid. I would love Selfless Spirit, but what we saw was Toxic Deluge, so Indestructible does not really help. Yeah, sometimes you just hit them in the face while they try to get fancy. I wish we had... I wish this hand had a Noble Hierarch. Also a red source again. Where are my red sources at? We have like nine red sources. This is really hard to mulligan this hand. doesn't do anything. Did we just give them three? Did they go to six? No, of course they kept their opener. <sighs> this guy doesn't get anything back. I want to mulligan this hand. Oh, God. <laughs> this, is, this is the hand we wanted. If this was a green source, I'd probably snap keep this. But now we just lose, unfortunately. Actually, we're on the draw. You know what? There are biscuits that we should be risking it for. I need one land in the first two turns, and I have, like, 13 green sources, so. There it is. There's the, there's the money maker. You can't keep getting away with it! You do love to see it. <laughs> you sure do. Oh, look at it. Look at it. We're setting up for a beautiful, a beautiful toxic deluge turn. The sad thing is, unless this guy gets up to... Even if this guy does get up to 8, Toxic Deluge is still going to kill him. Just got to pay that 6 life, you know? Oh, they just... They just, mur they just, they just murdered him immediately. Give me a fetch land so I can Renegade Rally or it back. Okay.
in the sky. Come on, mountain. Yeah, this dude's a this dude's a threat, man. All right, they got four cards and a looter. Doesn't look like they're doing much here. Unless they just chose to go through their first main into their second main just to do a thing. Which is always kind of a weird choice. I guess that's what they did. <laughs> oh, all right, just play that and pass. Sounds good. That's sad. That's not what we're looking for. Although we can play it to trigger Renegade Rallyer. Hmm. You just play this Renegade Rallyer. I mean, they're their odds of getting Toxic Deluge when they have a Rona active and a Vampiric Tutor to go get it is pretty high. Oh, it you, actually, I think you're right. I don't think it ever enters the battlefield. Yep, good call, good call. So it's actually not a choice I have to make here. So that's good. Would love to pest infestation their lotus petal, but if we target that and they sack it in response, we get nothing. Like Charlie in the end of Willy Wonka. You get nothing! Also, this is probably better after a, a toxic deluge anyway. Okay. Oh, that's a that's a guy we can hit. Give me a land, just one land, preferably an un. Oh, swamp was really surprisingly good. <laughs> now it turns this guy into a swamp. It doesn't turn him into a swamp. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on, give me just a breeding pool. No. Hmm. Probably red source, right? Probably like a taiga. Yeah, Gene Wilder was the goat, man. Uh, that's... <sighs> do I want the blue to contribute to this guy? Or do I just want a Mox Diamond to be able to Pest Infestation? Probably Mox Diamond. Target these two. Then it won't get countered. This and this and done. And one, two, three, four. I haven't seen many counter spells out of you, so hopefully this does not get countered. Reprieve. Remand. Similar but different. It is what it is. I'll trade. I'll trade a Baleful Strix for a while in the cattle. Like, they know we have... Yeah, they know we have Pest Infestation, so this is a pretty easy trade for them. But that also means, like, we can just start attacking with Nob uh, Nishoba Brawler as well.
Are they flipping this? Oh, they're flipping this. Interesting. That's going to be tricky unless we just top deck a swords. This doesn't do anything when it hits. It just does it if it deals damage, right? Yeah, I'll just take five. This is an interesting choice. What? Why would you... Did they think it did something when it connected? Like, it's not Fallen Shinobi. <laughs> okay. That was an interesting... Uh... That was an interesting choice. Yeah, I guess we're just hanging for four here. <sighs> well, pest infestation doesn't do anything here. If we can hit a fetch land, rally, rally is a nice recovery for a toxic deluge. Which is what they're going to play right now for three. Make sure to keep their guy alive. Nope. Okay. Yeah, they're just going to use the air work smart. Okay, they just go to four. They go to five. Yeah. I'm not just going to let you keep hitting us for five. All right. Any order. Fetch land for Rallier. One time. That guy's good. Okay. Well, Fetch land is worse now, and we can't trigger Rallier. So that's... Uh, why sword then wouldn't they gain less life if you let Deluge resolve? Sure, but I just didn't actually even consider that. Sure. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, yep. So they draw a card from that. And they just get Vindicate? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Yep, seems good. Yep, that was pretty good. Oh yeah, leaving the battlefield actually does make it a significantly better. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Well, they have one one card, but they also have a Gideon, and we don't really have a ton of great options. So Hmm. Yeah, I think this is pretty much outside of our range now. I thought we were doing good. And then they had to draw Toxic Deluge. Uh, 
no blocks because it has shadow. So. Checking my TSA status, my TSA pre-check status. God, I'd be like, enter all of your details. Oh, good. Finally, a red source that is a mountain. What does it do? Not much. Yeah, it also means we can't both boast and rallier. Huh. Attack Gideon. What are we getting back here? Seems pretty obvious, right? And we're just playing Proving Ground because, I mean, if they have a removal spell for Hex Drinker, like it's, that's, that's probably all I got. Okay. <laughs> yep, never don't have it. No status found. That seems correct. Yeah, great. <laughs> solid, solid program. Well, you're the one who texted me, so, you know. Wonder what they got. Fantastic. <laughs> uh. hmm. Minskin Boo. Mountain. Mountain. Uh, yeah, you know what? Okay, so we actually take seven next turn. That's pretty rough. Really surprised they didn't just get in and put me to one. I guess I'm dead on board either way. Great. Well, that was a uh, that was an adventure. All right, round three, trying to close out a 2-1 with our little warrior pals. This is not the hand that's going to do it. This is better. And we'll put Pest Infestation back. This actually seems pretty decent. Oh, well, that's nice. 
So we can go Nacatl here. We can get a breeding pool with this for Brawler. And then we have Jetmere's Garden as well. All right. Interesting. I definitely want to play Brawler here, right? Probably. Yeah, let's go see what we can get. I think it's just Breeding Pool that gives us a blue. We could also go Proving Ground for the black. No, we don't have a blue, so we need a blue or a black. Yeah, I'm just gonna get Breeding Pool. And next turn, Jetmere's Garden gives them both plus one, plus one. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we have uh, we have a swords and a mountain. Does that do anything? Not really. Well, we can't deal with it this turn. We can attack for five. Maybe that's the play. That was, in fact, the play. That was just a free five points. So next turn we can actually play Roaming Throne and keep up swords. Aggressive. No blocks, because I cannot. This gives us a black source, making this guy even bigger. I think it's better to do the other thing, though. Triggered, nothing triggered is happening, so. I'm just gonna attack for seven here. They're gonna kill at least one of these, if not both. Sure. They discarded Torsten. Yep. So we've had to face two reanimator decks. Remember that time we had Othari in our deck? Boy, that was wild. Wouldn't that be a hell of a card to draw? And Solitude? Wow, we've had a lot of cards that we just literally have not drawn. I guess we drew Solitude once in like, yeah, sure. <laughs> in the very early game. You're just gonna Mystical Tutor for a card that gets back your Torsten, I'm sure. Well, I guess you already have. I'm gonna assume the one card left is a Reanimate for Torsten, and then you're gonna Time Walk. Okay. Oh, or they're just gonna try to kill us with this guy? That's kinda cool. Cause now we can just kill it. Yeah, that works for me. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they have a counter. No, nope. all right, cool. They were just like, oh, you can't block, so I'll just attack you twice. Sounds good. Well, they have two cards. Fantastic. So what do they get? Ashen Rider? No, uh, Time Walk and Tower were not part of this. Oh, Oko too. Fantastic. S sick draws. <laughs> Okie dokie. So hold on. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Uh, Charitability of Torsten. 
They got Ashen Rider Island Forest. And then they played Forest. So they got Ashen Rider and Island in hand. So their draws were literally Oko and Death. Fantastic. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I just can't get over the quality of draws. Like, all right, well, cycle this, I guess. Oh, is that good? Can't block. I block here, they take five. And then we take, well, we gotta keep Noble Hierarch back. Oh, wait, does this trigger twice? Are they dead? Did we just win? No, because, oh, because only that guy can't block. Never mind. That would've been cool if we could just four, five, six, seven, eight, nine them. Yep, that would've been too good, right? <laughs> Torsten, obviously immune. Yep. It's good times. They block here, they take five. Whatever. I think still putting them to three is worth it because we have Othari in deck and Tribal Flames. Okay, I'm pretty sure they can't. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's what I figured they would do because it gives them lethal if they can deal with our Noble Hierarch. And of course you found a way to deal with it. Wonderful. Yep, we would have drawn land anyway, so it doesn't matter. We were the the game didn't want us to win that one, so that's okay. <sighs> that's fairly obnoxious. Containment priest coming in. Earthshaker Kenra coming out. Yeah. Okie dokie. I mean, I don't know. Your draws being like Oko Necromancy is pretty good, so. When my, my, my draws were like land, land. Let's keep this. Get a Savannah. Play Noble Hierarch. And then turn two, we can play Brawler and Proving Ground. So long, brawler. <laughs> like, my plans are so weak that it's like, even if you do it, it's like, wow, you just took the weakest plan I had, which is really saying something. Guess I'll play this 2 1. Okay, turn two time walk, you got it. Are they just missing? Oh, I was like, I was, I was crossing my fingers they're missing a land drop. I will take any advantage that I'm, that I'm given here. Oh, good. Whoa, whoa, don't, no, don't move to blocks. Oh, God. I would much rather keep an Usher of the Fallen on board if, if they have a Fairy Mastermind and that's what they're doing. Huh. One mana shy of that guy. Oh, 
that's a dude, all right. Did they just survive? That's interesting. Nope. Might as well make a guy here. I don't want to play Hex Drinker. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, Traxa. How oh, nice. Well, that's the end. GG's. Do you think their hand does not have a reanimate in it? Yeah. I do not think that. Play this. Crack this. Okay. So next turn we have Othari. I'm tempted to burn their face right now, to be honest. What is this, for four? Sure. Let's see what that does. Got it. Hard, hard cast force of will. All right. Well, we're not dead yet. You're at seven. Oh, that's that's it. That's the end. So they block here, they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man. Whoo! We're getting close. This is this is the most like This is like the most work we've had to do to get some wins, man. I'm very tempted to bring in Bitter Triumph again. I felt like it was a decent choice, especially when they have like a Traxa or that fat that fat troll. But we do have containment priest. Like, that's what we're trying. We have swords. Actually, this is probably better than prismatic ending. I also haven't seen much for pest infestation. Is there something better that we can put in for that? Kogla fighting? The fat troll. Do you have any do you have any idea how little that narrows the town? I don't. Maybe just Gideon? Yeah, Gideon seems fine. We've kept the gruff triplets in because we just kind of want to play it. Um, yes, first turn Hex Drinker could be the could be the dude. I mean, they also have Time Walk and lots of other nonsense, but Swords was a good hit. Oh, I'm going to crack my Verdant now. I'm going to go get Rafine's Tower. Yeah, that's why we, we, we assumed you would be doing that. That's nothing special. It was nice to get that Othari out there for the, for the game win. Yep, got it. Oh, beauty. Behold, a beauty. <laughs> Uh, let's play this. Oh, I didn't even see that hero blade hold. Oh, I, I should probably get a green for this guy, though. Oh, what up, sea donkey? That donkey monkey. Interesting. That would be cool if we had one more land. Unfortunately, we are not there yet. I feel like we just attack and pass. That seems worse than... Yeah, I mean, actually, they have... Worst case scenario, we'll just Containment Priest, I think, but I'd rather flip this guy. You got it. It becomes a green elk. What does this say? If a non-token creature... Okay, it's a token. It's not a token. Is it a token? It is a token. 
I don't know. This wouldn't work anyway. I just wanted to like double check because that could be a weird, obscure interaction. Unfortunately, this is no longer an artifact. That is how Oko works. So. I am tempted to swords it, but that seems really bad. Well, I was hoping for a... I was hoping for a land there. This hand would have been great if we just didn't miss a land drop. Okie dokie, artichoke. Oh, come on, really? This is how you're gonna play me? Get him. Get him. Get him? Oh dear, does this mean we can do it? No, they have to have, they have to have Fairy Mastermind here. There's no way Oko just dies, right? What? That's satisfying. Are we actually doing well with three lands? I don't know. I mean, next turn it feels like we just keep up Containment Priest and pump once. Or, I mean, if we hit a land, we're just slamming Minsk and Boo. Can we 2-1 two, two with this deck is all I want. They didn't do anything. Neither did we. Hmm, that's frustrating. Well, we're just attacking for seven, I guess. If they didn't have anything last turn. Yeah, I'm just keeping Containment Priest up. That just feels correct. Cause like we can still pump this fully next turn. So if they don't do any, if they do something, we can just tap on pump it. And if they don't flash. <laughs> Force of will. Okay. So you're going to get something. It's probably Torsten. Yep. That's a good one. That's actually fine. I guess. Oh, they just hit all lands and a, and that's it. Four lands and nothing else. Perfect. Okay. I mean, they just lost a damnation and a time walk, so that's good. Island gone. Necromancy on Torsten. Great. More lands. You get troll Island, swamp, inquis uh, swamp, and breeding pool. Okie dokie. Boy, having the answer for that containment priest was really good for you. They chose troll, breeding, island, swamp, swamp. Troll, breeding, island, swamp, swamp. And now they're discarding breeding and swamp. Now we know they have five lands, one troll, one blank. One beer. So now we can just pump this guy to, to Oblivion, right? And now it's a two-turn clock. All right. You got to deal with Troll. Damnation is gone. Time Walk is gone. Swamp gone. So you know five of the seven cards in your hand. Is Hex Drinker the, the dude? Is Hex Drinker the man of the hour? We can also just play Minskin Boo and sack this guy next turn, but that's not gonna. Is this the snake of the hour? 
Oh, I guess they gain this, but also we can just attack for six and then Minsk and Boo. So let's keep in mind that they're at technically eight. Oh, Atraxa looks like what they exiled with Force of Will. I'm just taking seven here because if they have a card that makes me sacrifice something, I don't want to really lose it to... I don't want to lose Hexdrinker to that. Because we already see Shouldered's Edict, so if they like have a way to flash it back or... Plus, I can't imagine this game is going to last more than the next turn. Just getting two. Okay. I mean, if they don't have a counter spell, Bowmasters, sure. Okay. I have a feeling that's it. We know most of their hand. Play this in case they have a daze as like their last card. Did not keep up planes for force for swords. Let's make a boo. Sack. Hex drinker. Deal six. Wow! <laughs> Two one. Was not expecting it. Definitely had to work for those wins. Good grief. Even the game we lost, we went one, two, so not too bad. Maybe I was a little too hard on the deck. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.